Yeah, that's right, Pat. A lot of people in this area are struggling with survivor's guilt. I actually spoke with a woman yesterday and I said, how, how are you maintaining that? And she told me journaling and taking photos of this devastation to share with people and show people's uh, loved ones that are not exactly here, uh, that that meant a lot for her as well. But we also met up with another woman whose son, nine-year-old son's home, uh, I mean, his room, I mean, was had a huge gaping hole in it. And she told us that he was scared to even go back to the house. He had gone there with her to help clean up for a couple of Hours said he didn't want to go back there anymore. And I asked her, I said, Are you going to get him any type of counseling? And she said, Because he is so young, she probably will, because this devastation is now their reality when they drive in here. But here's what she said about how she feels about this situation when she goes to bed at night. I said, It's a sick feeling, almost like you're fixing to have to go you know, to the doctor or whatever, and I just can't get that queasiness to go away. Yeah. Just that anxiety. Lot, the yeah. anxiety of what we've been through and just rebuilding and fixing everything up and helping our neighbors and, yeah. you know, it's just a lot. It's a lot to deal with. Now, Miss Paul told us that her son was actually at a school today because they had some counselors there and were opening up and loving on the kids instead of them having to be in all of this devastation while their parents try to clean up. You need that. You need yeah. those kids to feel that sense of normalcy to get them through some of this stuff. I mean, yesterday when I was near a Nashville, you had some kids playing on the playground. You yeah. got to have that. And it's just incredible the mixed emotions yeah. out here. You go from what you talk to to one of those survivors to the volunteers who can't wait to just roll up their sleeves and say, Hey, we're here for you, yeah. Tennessee. We're here for you. And it's really good to see that, too. Yeah. So many people coming from out of town to help here. Indeed. Brecken, thank you. As we continue our team coverage out here, back to you, Dan.